Hey, 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 who's ready to put together a six-figure sales funnel? Now, I know that is a very bold promise, but don't get freaked out because a lot of people think that a sales funnel has to be super, super complicated, but what I'm gonna show you guys today is the basic sales funnel that is responsible for generating multiple six figures for so many people. And we're gonna do it day by day. And today what we're gonna do is we are going to discover what your lead magnet, or some people call it a bait, would be because we wanna collect names and emails of people, right? Because it takes six or seven exposures for people to make a decision on whether or not they're gonna buy from you. And so having and building an amazing list of people who are your potential clients is very, very important if you want to get to that six-figure business. And so today, we're gonna talk about what a lead magnet is and the biggest mistake that a lot of people do when they make them and how to actually simplify it to make it actually easier for you to not only give lead magnets, but other pieces of content for your potential client. So if you have a product or you have a brick and mortar business, then this is probably a lot easier than for people who have a digital marketing business. Um, because let's say you have a store or a restaurant, a coupon could easily become a lead magnet. A lot of my clients um, for pizza parlors, we give away a free slice of pizza, or we decide to go with a free appetizer, right? Because we want to attract people to try out the restaurant for the first time. It's very similar, even if you have a digital business, especially if no one has worked with you before, giving them something of high value in exchange for their name and email address is gonna build a lot of rapport. Now, if you have a gym, you can, for instance, give them a two week free membership. A lot of gyms make the mistake and they only give people one, you know, a trial day. That's not really long enough for people to, you know, form a habit and really get to know what your gym is like. And so the job of your lead magnet is to get them to go into your gym, not once, twice, but over and over again so that they get the feel and they start to develop that pattern. And so I like to go with a free two week membership. That seems to get a lot of people hooked because then you as a coach, you as a fitness expert can work one on one with them for a couple of days and make them feel at home. Now with dentist office, a lot of times my clients will give away a free cleaning, right? Because once you can get people in the chair, you can upsell them to so many other different things like whitening, um, x-rays, um, you're gonna find cavities, right? And so, but for digital marketing, lead magnets are a little bit more complicated, but I'll tell you guys about one of the biggest mistakes I made when I first started my business was I created a guide, a total Instagram guide. It was, you know, how to write the perfect bio, how to do the perfect post. Um, it also included my 10 minute a day Instagram strategy. And it also showed people how to build an email list using Instagram. Well, it was kind of a lengthy book. Um, probably some of you guys have it, that didn't make a good first lead magnet because people became overwhelmed. I didn't give people a small win. What I gave them was days of assignments and they didn't even know me. So a lot of people gave up before they even finished. And so now I've learned that giving people a five to 10 minute assignment that's gonna give them a small win in their business works absolutely the best. So again, if you have a product or a brick and mortar business, your lead magnet's already done because all you have to do is say, hey, what can you offer for free to get people to to walk in the door. Whereas on the digital side, it's a little bit tricky. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to that quadrant exercise. Remember I told you guys that filling out all of these exercises all have a point in these lessons. And so today we are referencing back the quadrant exercise. You know, the one that says me with the value that you bring, then your product, the value that your product brings. And then we're gonna work out of the, quad the third quadrant where it was the superpower that happens after you and the product come together and form this really rad superpower. So let's take this for example. Um, what do you have in quadrant three? Take one of those superpowers and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna break it in, break that one thing down in five steps. How can your target audience accomplish that superpower in five steps, okay? So for instance, if you said that you plus your superpower that you can show people how to generate hundreds of leads a week by using a sales funnel, what we're gonna do is we're gonna break that down, right? Exactly like what I'm doing all this week. 
you're going to show them how to put together a lead magnet, right? That would be step one. Step two would be how to write the perfect headline that'll convert. Number three, how to, you know, set what to put on the thank you page that is going to convert. Um, another thing could be the email series, right? So what are the five steps that make up one of your superpowers that you've written down in quadrant three? Break that down into five simple steps. Like what, what five steps do people have to do to accomplish that superpower, okay? Then we're gonna break that down even further because that's not our lead magnet. What our lead magnet is going to be is the first step that you listed in those steps. What we're gonna do is we're gonna break down that first step into three steps. So if that first step was to discover what that person's lead magnet is, we're gonna do exactly like what this video is, right? Your lead magnet, you could be how to put together a lead magnet that converts to a customer, right? If you want to, you could also use the lead magnet as how to write a headline for your landing page that converts, okay? So again, we're gonna go back to quadrant three. You are going to pick one of your superpowers, then you're gonna break down that one superpower into five actionable steps that your target market has to do in order to achieve that superpower. And then you're gonna go to that first or second step and you're gonna break that step down into three actionable things. Now we're gonna either create a cheat sheet, you can create a checklist, however you decide that you wanna do it, but your lead magnet is going to consist of what you said in quadrant three, that first step broken down into three separate steps. Now I have a worksheet, so download the worksheet below and it's gonna help you discover what your lead magnet should be. Post it in the group as soon as you figure it out. If you need help, now this, this week, I know a lot of you guys are going to need help. Hit me up on Voxer, download the op Voxer, V-O-X-E-R, and my name is Laurel Gale, L-A-U-R-E-L-G-A-Y-L-E. -E. Hit me up, ask me a question any time of the day. I will answer it, it is so much faster than doing um, Facebook Messenger. Because as you know, as a business owner, your Facebook Messenger could be a shit show. And so I want you guys to be able to have access to me at any time. So anyway, get this assignment done. If you have any questions at all, hit me up on Voxer. Get it done, guys.